I've honestly just been waiting for the right time to make this video. You would be surprised as to how hard these videos are to make. Merry meet everyone and welcome back to My Vegan Life once again. This video is delayed, but it's finally here. So now, without further ado, here are 11 more random facts about me. Just a little disclaimer before we start this video. This list is mainly gonna consist of I like points, so I'm going to cover a lot of the things I like. So yeah, fact number one, I am a Wiccan slash witch. I believe I didn't mention this point in my first random facts about me video, and if I did, I'm sorry, but since this video isn't specifically linked to paganism, wicca, or witchcraft, I felt like it was necessary to mention. So to those of you who didn't know, you're welcome, now you know. For the record, if you want to know more about paganism, like on witchcraft, then please feel free to check out my channel because that's what my channel is all about. Fact number two is that I love languages. Again, this one is very obvious to those of you who know anything about me. I am bilingual. I speak two languages, Norwegian and English. I am learning Chinese because I once learned it before but forgot most of it. And I generally love listening to other languages. One of my biggest hopes and dreams here in life is to learn a variety of languages. So I'm hoping that by the time I am dead, I have learned uh, Chinese fully, Russian, and Arabic. These are sort of the three languages, like the three goals I have when it comes to learning languages. And yeah, it might sound crazy, it might sound insane. I, for one, think it sounds insane because I don't know how I'm supposed to go about learning these languages throughout my life, but you gotta be a bit ambitious in life if you want to get anywhere. Fact, or rather quirk number three, is that I love to combine burger breads and brown cheese. Brown cheese is a Scandinavian or Norwegian invention. It's basically this cheese that is brown and doesn't taste like normal cheese at all, but most of us Norwegians, or many of us Norwegians, love brown cheese. It is absolutely amazing. But as much as we Norwegians love brown cheese, it isn't always obvious that we like it with everything. And anyone who knows that I like to eat brown cheese on burger bread thinks it's weird, even if they are Norwegian. And that's really all there is to it. It's a weird habit of mine, and I really just like the combination and taste. And while others might find it weird, I'm not giving up on it anytime soon because it tastes amazing. Though granted, burger beds are more expensive than normal bread, so, you know, I can't do it all the time, but I definitely love to do it when I have the chance. Number four, I love Vocaloid music. Yes, for those of you who have already caught on to this, I do have a picture of a Chinese Vocaloid on my bedroom wall. I could go on and on explaining what a Vocaloid is and what Vocaloid music is, but I really think you should just check it out for yourself. Go down into the description below and check out some of the links and listen to some of the music because Vocaloid music and Vocaloids in general is just a very very interesting concept, and a lot of the music is very cool, very original, very fresh. If you're tired of, you know, normal mainstream pop music, then you may want to check out Vocaloid music. For the record though, most good Vocaloid music, in my opinion, is in Japanese, and it is a fact that most Vocaloid music in general is Japanese. There's also Chinese and Korean, English and Spanish and yeah, there, there is a lot of variety, but if you want to get acquainted with Japan and Japanese pop culture and a little bit different culture and music, then Vocaloid music is definitely something for you, maybe. Sorta. <laughs> Fact number five, or quirk number five, is that I drink soda and juice from port or liquor glasses. A lot of people that have seen me do this question why I do this. Soda and juice, they have a lot of flavor, they have a lot of sugar oftentimes, at least soda, and consuming a lot of that at once can be kind of too much for me. Not only do I think drinking from these glasses is very entertaining for me and very fun, but it lowers my intake a bit. Fact number six, the best TV shows are usually kids shows. If you're a teen or if you're a person who is in your 20s or 30s or 40s and you still watch My Little Pony, I 
relate. I guess I should have worn my 20% cooler shirt for this video, but I didn't, so I'm sorry, guys. But yes, it is true. I am a brony, I'm a My Little Pony Friendship is Magic fan, and I also do watch a lot of other children's shows. When I'm talking children's shows, I am indeed talking about the shows that are directed at younger audiences, but not too young. I'm talking about the kids shows that have good plot. I'm talking about the kids shows that have conflict, that have problems in them. But the good thing about children's TV shows is that they usually always end on a good note. They always get the conflict resolved, they always find a solution to the problem, and it just fulfills me, it just makes me whole. Call me a child all you want, but I don't really like all those adult shows. I just like sitting down with a children's show that's magical, that's creative, that's different, like My Little Pony or Lego Ninjago or something along the lines of that. Fact number seven is that I love to read manga and watch anime. I was about to say vice versa, like read anime and watch manga, but that's wrong. For those of you who don't know, anime and manga are the Japanese equivalent of American cartoons. There really isn't much else to say for this video, just make sure to check it out for yourself if you're interested. Maybe, just maybe, I'll leave some links down in the description below. Fact number eight, I'm a radical feminist. I just feel like there are so many people judging me right now. Here's the deal. Being a radical feminist in a liberal society is like being a gay person in an area with a lot of fundamentalist Christians. And whenever I talk about being a feminist or being a radical feminist, or whenever I touch on something that has to do with feminism or radical feminism in general, I feel like I'm coming out because it is challenging to be a radical feminist in the society that I live in at least, and I believe it would also be kind of hard to be it in America. I get the feeling that you're either conservative or you're liberal. And being radical is just out of this world for a lot of people. And for those of you who are wondering, no, I'm not a TERF because I do not discriminate against trans people. I'm a supporter of people, but understand that just because I have a different view than you doesn't mean I'm discriminatory or that I'm evil or anything like that. I'm still planning on making videos regarding radical feminism and Wicca and stuff like this, but those will come later. I'll just have to wait and see about that. Fact number nine, I'm a bit of a gamer. I don't have a very intimate relationship with all games, but I do love to game the games that I love to game. Yes. <laughs> I play Minecraft. I play Bayonetta. I play Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. In fact, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, it's my favorite game of all time. Ten. I love to make the hang sound. A lot of you may not understand this, but there is this sound that I've adopted somehow from somewhere. I think it's from Comedy Shorts Gamer, this one uh, YouTuber that I really like, but I oftentimes usually say hang. <laughs> and I have this thing with my brother where when we meet each other at any random moment, I look at him and I'm like, Hing, hing. <laughs> I know it's hard to understand for some of you, but it's just another quirk of mine. So let's start with that right here, right now. Hing. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Fact number 11, I don't shave. I have shaved, but I don't shave often and I don't shave regularly. But for me, it's just the same with fashion. I don't care what people wear and I don't care how people perceive me in whatever I wear. I whatever, I god darn please. And it is the same with shaving. I don't care. And it's fine if you do, but now you know that I don't. But I'm gonna let you in on another secret. There's a reason why I don't raise my arms a lot, because it really isn't the sexiest thing you'll ever see. <laughs> so yeah, guys, now you know a little bit more about me, including some of my weird quirks and habits. If you can relate to any of these points, make sure to comment down below and like this video to tell me. If you yourself have some quirks or some weird habits, then make sure to leave that down in the comments below. I would like to see some facts about you guys. Also, guys, I would like to inform you on something. You guys may have already heard that I've wanted you guys to go down to the comments below and write a word that means a lot to you. Now you finally get to know why. You see, I have this dead bonsai plant from two or 
one year ago or something. So to honor this plant or this tree, I decided to plant it or put it back into the soil in my garden. I know it won't grow because it's already dead, but I want to honor it and respect it. And one of the ways I want to go about honoring this tree is to give it new meaning. If we can give it a new purpose, a new meaning, then it sort of has a little bit more of a life. Not only that, but it gives us an opportunity to do something together and to grow our intentions and to set them out into the universe. That's why I'm planning to take each one of your words, write them on pieces of paper, but instead of burning them, I'm going to hang them on the tree. So if you want to participate in that, comment down below. I will write it down on my list and I will include your word on the tree. Once again, guys, thank you so much for watching this video and blessed be from My Pagan Life.